good afternoon students today i am going to discuss about the first chapter of physics of 12th class syllabus that is electrostatics so what is the meaning of electrostatics the electro means charge and the term statics means rest so electrostatics means when charge at rest so first of all we will discuss about what is charge charge is the property associated with a matter due to which it produces and experiences electrical and magnetic effect that means matter atom if you break the atom then you get subatomic particle like proton neutron electron etc so charge is the property that associated with the matter matter means atoms smallest particle of the matter atoms which produces and experiences electrical and magnetic effect so charge is the property of the matter that produces or experiences electrical effect and magnetic effect that means behavior of electric and magnetic okay so charge is of two types one is positive or proton another is negative or electron so in this section we will learn about the what is electrostatics electrostatics means it is the branch of physics that deals with study of charge at rest suppose someone says sir if charge is moving what happen if the side this so now we will discuss if charge is at rest if charge is at rest we will call electrostatics if charge is moving we will call current electricity that two part if charge is accelerating we will call electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves when charge is accelerating when charge is accelerated that three parts when charge is rest electrostatics when charge is moving current electricity when charge is accelerating that is electromagnetic waves clear my point okay so now let's discuss about the nature the property about the charge so charge is a scalar quantity so first of all charge is a which quantity charge is a scalar quantity okay so the formula of charge q equal to it the q stands for charge i stands for current which current electric current current and t stands for time clear my point always remember charge q stands for charge clear my point so the unit of charge unit of charge is coulomb unit of charge is coulomb in which system in si system the another unit of charge is esu that is electrostatic unit or you can say stat coulomb stat coulomb in which system cgs system or another name E N U E N U electromagnetic unit that is called half coulomb half coulomb in which system 
So simple. Charge is a scalar quantity. Its formula is Q equal to IT. Q stands for charge. I is the current. T is the time. The unit of charge is Coulomb in which system? SI system. And the in CJ system, two units that is ESU, electrostatic unit that is stat Coulomb. And another is EMU that is electromagnetic unit or Atma. Clear my point? Okay. The dimension of charge, the dimension of charge Q equal to current A time T. The dimension is A T. So another interesting thing is suppose if you have a positive charge another is positive charge. Same charge, like charge. Positive, positive. The behavior is repulsion. Positive, negative. Attraction. Negative, positive. Attraction. Negative, negative. Repulsion. Is that clear? That means same type. Same type. Attract or repel. Repel each other. Different type attract each other. This is the fundamental law. This is the fundamental law. Fundamental law of electrostatics. Law of electrostatics. Fundamental law of electrostatics. This law said same type attract or repel, repel each other. That is Like charges are repel each other, repel each other while unlike charges are attract each other, attract. This is the fundamental law. Light charges, light charges are repel each other, while all light charges are attract each other. So, in this system, we will discuss only charge is a scalar quantity. Charge represents Q, the unit of charge is Coulomb in SI system, in CJ system, that is stat Coulomb or ESU, that is the electrostatics unit. And in CJ system also, electromagnetic unit or EMU or APCULA. The dimension is Q equal to AT. And the fundamental law of electrostatics is like charges repel each other and while all like charges are attract each other. Same type repulsion and different types attraction. Okay. Note this. So now we will discuss about the atom. In a normal atom, there is a center part that is called nucleus. The proton and neutron combine each other for nucleus. So the charge of proton is positive due to. So that the charge of nucleus is positive. Clear my point? Due to the charge of proton is positive, so that the charge of the nucleus also positive. The red part that is called an electron revolving around the nucleus. So a normal atom is always neutral. What is the meaning of neutral? Neutral means the number of proton or positive charge and the number of electron or negative charge both are same. Most of the student 
said neutral means no charge it's wrong neutral means having some charge so how much amount of charge that is the amount of positive charge equal with amount of negative charge so in this atom the number of electron and the number of proton are same so in a normal atom is always neutral clear my point the concept of neutral so normal atom is always neutral clear my point a normal atom is always neutral due to the number of electron and the number of proton is always same clear my point so now discuss the physical significance of the charges so mass of proton 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg which is nearly equal to mass of neutron mass of proton nearly equal to mass of neutron mass of electron 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg so the mass of proton is heavier than mass of electron 1837 times heavier than mass of electron clear my point mass of proton is heavy than mass of electron so charge of electron in the same way right only magnitude the charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb if you say about the charge positive plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb about electron or negative minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb just write this 